Okay, guys, it's awesome to be back. I can't wait to show you guys this design. This is one of my favorites, and this amazing Blackfoot wrestler is going to teach us how to do it here. So what we need to do is we just start on the little corner, and we do a little hump, and then we swirl back and around. Now, in my head, I'm just thinking, okay, this is a nose, that is a mouth. Then I do the other nostril and a big open gate for the eye. Then I come straight across and down. I get a nice blocky forehead. Then the ear just lives up here on the ear. So whatever shape, you're just going kind of triangle. Then I'm using my filbert, and it's been double loaded to give me that light and dark area. So now I've got a little chin there and the jaw. Then I flip it again, and I just keep going back and forth so I get that darker edge followed by that lighter edge. And that neck lives down here on the neck. And you're still the same. Sometimes if there's room over here, I'll tuck a little second ear. It's not really important, but you can you get this swooping down, it is like ridiculously fun to go like, we go here, we go there, and people watching are usually pretty impressed, which is also fun. Now we need a couple of horns. So I like to think of these as like dragon horns, just like kind of a Texas longhorn, whatever you want, just kind of stick them in there. Then you can do this in white or reload a little bit in yellow, and then just scoop in a nice ring right here. Okay, the base that we've got going on here already looks angry. So all we have to do is capture the line work that supports that story. So I usually start right here on the eye, and I do the inside, and then I do the outside. And I just try and keep a little bit of those sharper angles, even though it's still pretty smooth. Go around there, and then up. I overshoot the mouth twice and then I kind of come and do the little rain and then I give that little bit of a lift. So come down and then angle those lines for the in teeth. Grab that lip and we come and do the chin and over from the jaw. Then I usually like to do a jagged line here or there just to give it a little bit of fur. Now we're back to the eye right here. You don't want to do the entire eyeball. You want to have some of it cut off. So we get most of it there. Then I like to do a little bit of a hairdo, and then we just come down and out for that nose. Outline that ear, and then here we do the inside of the ear, catch the top, and maybe a couple flicks right there. Now we're just gonna go around these horns. Once we're up at the top, I like to just smudge a little bit down so they have the little black tip. I think that looks super cool. Over here. So we're just going to grab some white, and anywhere that we have the top of a ridge, we're going to just put it with the white. So we've got some little fuzzy hair there, top of the ear, we've got a top right there, we've got a little bit of an eye right there, the jaw, over here at the end. I don't like to make this like a sparkle shine, but I do like to shine up that little nose ring. And so then we've got, on a scale of 1 to 10, how angry do we look? All we have to do is add this red iris right around the eye, and he just looks so beautiful. And I love it. 